Good evening fellow fans, today we're going to show you how to search across the multiple Netflix libraries through your DNS from Overplay. Okay, the first thing that you need to know is that there is a website called moreflix.com which is nothing more than a search toolbar or a browser that allows you to search for multiple, multiple TV shows and movies throughout a database like Netflix, Voodoo, Hulu, iTunes, the BBC iPlayer, Fox, Crackle, etc. What happens is that when you have the Overplay DNS, you can actually access many of the, or pretty much all of the libraries that compose Netflix. As you can see, Netflix has different regional libraries with different content. Some people that own the, the, the DNS usually have trouble trying to find out, let's say, their favorite TV shows or their movies because they might be in a region in which that show is not available but it can be available on another library from Netflix so if you do have the DNS overplay what you simply do is, we'll show you an, a quick example let's say you want to look for a show like um, The Big Bang Theory Theory Bang Theory as an example it's a TV show. As you can see, we chose TV show. We have to look for it, and there we go. You can see that the Big Bang Theory is available on Netflix, but you need to know which library for Netflix. And if you click, you can see that it's available in the Austrian, the Belgian, the French, the German, the Luxembourg, and the Switzerland libraries. So if you're in the States and you want to see it, you will not be able to see it with with Netflix from the US, you'll need to set up your overplay DNS to one of these countries in order to access the Big Bang Theory show. Now, I know that some people uh, have some trouble actually purchasing the DNS or setting it up because it's not something that they're very used to it, but we will show you how to do it. It's very important that you visit our website www.blimport.com slash Roku hyphen tv ha, hyphen digital hyphen l i b r e the website is in spanish but you can use the google translate tool in order to find the content in english what you have to do is you go all the way down and you will find these two banners that talk about the dns from overplay it's important that you click on it so that you can access the overplay website and purchase your dns it's important that you remember that if you are outside the US and you do own a Roku, you need this overplay DNS to activate your Roku for the first time, otherwise it will geo-lock. Now, I will show you how you can actually purchase the DNS. You already saw that you can access from it from our website, or you can just click on the link on the description of, the, of this video or on the caption available on the video as well. I'll explain. First thing you have to do, click on sign up. It will take you to the registration page. Here, pretty much, you fill your personal data like your first name, your last name, your email address, a username you want to use, a password, and the country you are in. Right now, we are in Panama, so as you can see, default it's in Panama. Once you click to the I agree terms and hit sign me up button, it will take you to another page where it will confirm that it will send you an email which you need to click on in order to activate your account for the first time. Usually there's always a problem with the first time, so you might have to hit the recent button in order to get a second email for you to activate your account. Once you activate your account, you just go and log on. Like Right now, since we already made our account, I'll just log in so you can see more or less how it works. Okay. So we log into our account, we have a DNS overplay, from the overplay, sorry. And you will find all these two uh, uh, buttons on the, on the web page. You need to click on subscriptions because you have to purchase your subscription for the smart DNS. Once you click on it, you can see that there are actually two options. You can either purchase a global VPN, which is a little bit more expensive, or you could just simply purchase the smart DNS, which is what you need for enabling your Roku to do the geo change and for for activating it as well. As you can see, you can purchase different time time windows or time lapses depending on what you want and 
the further the length, the cheaper it gets. So if you buy an, an entire year ahead of time, you will get a discount. It will be like 50 bucks. Whereas if you purchase it month by month, it could be somewhere around 60 bucks. So you save more or less 10 bucks. So it all depends on what you want. Once you purchase it, it will take you to a, a page where you have to input your credit card or your or billing information on which they will make you a charge for the service and then they will provide you with two DNS servers which are unique those DNS servers are of your own and you have to input them to your Wi-Fi router in this case what you simply do is you just go to Smart DNS and you will find there a green symbol that says that your account is actually active and you will see your two servers I will not want to show you too much because they are of my own so people cannot copy it uh, because of privacy issues but anyways as you can see here, there's something called the Netflix locale, and th what that means is that you choose from the list of servers based on what do you want to see on more flicks, let's say, like, since we were looking for the Big Bang Theory, and if we want to see the show on our Roku on our computer, we choose any of these servers, and we go here, and we choose, let's say we know that it's in France, so we can look for um, France is there, we also know that it's in Austria, so we can click on any of these servers and we can get access to that Netflix regional library so we can see that show. Now, if you're activating the Roku for the first time, you have to do this, you choose United States. And then, what you simply do is, once you get the DNS servers, you go to this other web page which we call Configuring your Roku to Multiview. You might need to use the translate option again because the website is in Spanish but we're fluent in English so that's not an issue if you have any problems or you can just send us an email. And once you're on that page, as you can see, this is the link. You select your Wi-Fi brand. If we choose, let's say, Linksys, it will take you to a small window that shows us how to configure the lenses and it shows you some setup screen so you have an idea of what you're going to once you're programming your DNS. It says here clearly, you see, input here the DNS values obtained from overplay, server 1, server 2. Those are the numbers you got here once you pay for the subscription. You input them and you just do a save setting and you disconnect from your Wi-Fi and reconnect it again or pretty much do a restart from your router. Once you do so, you can access your Netflix library and if you're activating, as we said, your Roku for the first time, set it in the US and then you just go to our web page, which will be the main page here, to carry on with the, with the instructions required for activating your Roku for the first time. It's important that you don't miss it because some people get this wrong the first time and if you make an error, when setting up the DNS o from overplay, the mistake car carries all the way until you finish your setup and what might happen is that your Ro Roku will geo-block and then you will not have access to channels like Netflix, Amazon. You might not even be able to add some channels because the Roku is intended to be sold only in the US, Ireland and the UK. So this is why you need to get this straight the first time. As you can see in your web page, we tell you the steps, the first steps that in an order that you need to follow when you are creating your account. Once you purchase a Roku and you purchase a DNS, you have to create a Roku owner account. But you have to do it when you have already your DNS set up and set to the US server. It's very important. So we hope that this video is useful for you guys. And if you have any question or any inquiry, you can simply send us an email, you can subscribe to our f YouTube page, you can follow us on Facebook, and our page in Facebook is facebook.com slash Roku Panama, or you can also uh, follow us on Twitter, send us an email, I mean, subscribe on YouTube. There are many ways you can actually contact us because we're all over the net. So, thanks for watching and have a great day.